<laughs> All right. All right, geez. Okay, so we're going to be talking about hemostasis and basically uh, the vasculature of, uh, and just kind of how clotting is prevented and how clotting occurs. So the first thing I'm going to do is, is talk about the, uh, all the things that healthy endothelial cells do to prevent clotting from occurring. So here is your, is your vasculature. You've got your smooth muscle up here. Uh, the extracellular matrix right here, which is your basement membrane. Uh, endothelial cells. Uh, endothelial cells. Extracellular matrix. And yeah. so, so the first thing that you have is that the healthy endothelial cells produce um, vasodilators and they produce. And they produce uh, uh, anticoagulants, and some of these do have some over overlap. Uh, so, first one, nitric oxide, and prostacyclin, otherwise known as prostaglandin I two, are both vasodilators and anticoagulants. And because they're vasodilators, not only are they secreted from the endothelial cells into the lumen, but they're also secreted in the direction to uh, act on the smooth muscle. And what they do is, obviously, is relax the smooth muscle so that the, uh, the vasculature can be dilated. So then the other anticoagulants besides nitric oxide and prostacyclin are, uh, you've got tissue plasminogen activator, and you've got um, thrombomodulin, Oops. Uh, you have, what else do you have, any, any thoughts? ADPase, ADPase that is correct, very good. And heparin. And you've got heparin. So, each, each of these basically has different functions, uh, but the net result is basically to either avoid uh, clotting uh, occurring to begin with, or to break down clots that have, you know, have, have occurred that shouldn't have occurred in the first place. Um, so, the first one, uh, ADPAs kind of we'll see later on as, as uh, clotting that once clotting has already occurred, because it, it basically it's going to inhibit the activity of activated platelets uh, by breaking down the ADP that they release. So uh, TPA is released by the healthy endothelial cells, and what TPA does is it's a enzyme that converts plasminogen, which is uh, produced by the liver. And in a, in the plasminogen form, which is the inactive form, and then by becoming in contact with tissue plasminogen activator, it's converted to plasmin, which is the active form. And what plasmin does is it acts as an alligator, <laughs> and it breaks up fibrin clots that have been formed. So if there's been uh, clots that are, that are you know, done and uh, they just need to be broken up, or if they were clots that, that are inappropriately formed, plasmin is going to come along and it's going to just basically shred up the fibrin uh, strands. So the next uh, anticoagulant is heparin. And so heparin, also secreted by healthy endothelial cells, Is a uh, is a molecule that activates um, antithrombin three, which is another uh, enzyme produced by the liver. And antithrombin three again it starts out in an inactive form, 
And then it's got this little ligand here that, that when it comes in contact with heparin, uh, enables the conversion of it to its active form. So it comes down. binds with the heparin and becomes active. And so once antithrombin 3 becomes its activated form, it is uh, another one of your alligators. And it actually has a number of different activities. So antithrombin 3 is able to break up. Anybody know it? What does anti-thrombin 3 break up? Or inactivate? Thrombin. Thrombin, yeah, that's one of them. It takes thrombin, that's in its active form, and it converts it to the inactive form. Um, and any, any of the other coagulation factors that it, that it breaks up? 9 through 12? Uh, that's, that is correct, 9 through 12, exactly. So you've got your coagulation factors 9 through 12, which are in active form, and they, again, are broken up and made into their inactive form by, by antithrombin 3. And so these, uh, you know, I mean, the, the coagulation factors are, are ideally in your inactive form, but they're, again, they kind of oscillate back and forth, and although they are forced into the active form by precursors and enzymes, they can also kind of go back and forth on their own, and so it's important even in a healthy individual that you have these mechanisms to, to block, um, you know, excess clot clotting occurring, um, and this, you know, even if you don't have endothelial damage, say if a patient is on bed rest, then um, you know these these coagulation factors can be activated even without some sort of chemical stimulus, and as a result of that, it's really it's crucial that you have all these anticoagulant agents being produced by your healthy endothelial cell just all the time. Um, so then the next one, let's see, we did heparin, we did tissue plasma doing agents, uh, is thrombomodulin. So thrombomodulin is. Uh, it's kind of a weird one because thrombin, although a, a pro-coagulant agent, uh, thrombin can also have anti-coagulant anti functions. So that's my, that's an M for thrombomodulin. Uh, it's upside down, but you can figure it out. Uh, so thrombomodulin, what it does is it takes it, uh, it kind of sits there as a, uh, as like a membrane bound. It's actually a, uh, it's an integral membrane, membrane protein of the endothelial cells um, that synthesize. And when thrombin comes along, it's able to, to fit in here. And by doing that, uh, it's actually able to, um, it's actually able to act as an anticoagulant agent, and the way that it does that is by by binding to it, it, it creates a, a a location where protein C can come in, and protein C is, a, is basically is an anticoagulant um, enzyme. So protein C starts out in its inactive form, and it and it's kind of come along in the blood, and it it sees this, and it it binds to the thrombin, and becomes activated by the thrombin. And once protein C is activated by thrombin, it is able to take uh, two more of your coagulation factors: coagulation factor five and coagulation factor eight. And those uh, those form. They uh, they come in and they're like they're you know they're the active form of the coagulation factors, and and by by the mechanism of activated protein C, they're actually they're pushed back into their inactive form. 
So those are pretty much your, the, the mechanism for in normal healthy endothelial cell uh, anticoagulant producing agents. Uh, so the next thing 